Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Chiseled. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a great workout with us on Saturday. A nice day off yesterday. I was actually out of town, first vacation in about uh, five years uh, with the missus, about three and a half days. Yeah, I know it's a short one. That's all we could get. And boy, was it good. But I'm ready to get back into legs. Today is leg day. Let's start out just by walking in place. We're going to warm up our bodies. We're going to warm up our legs. And I'll tell you, it may be cold where you are. It's cold here. We're in Florida. It's probably about 50 degrees. And when you come and move down to Florida, you live in Florida, you become a wimp like me. 50 is freezing. And compared to what some of you guys have, hey, there he is. There's Ashanti. Hey, Did you play some basketball over the weekend? It's going through a light jog. Undefeated. Undefeated Saturday. Really? Number one scorer? Uh, I would say I don't know about Saturday. It's from all the work you're doing in here. Yeah, all right, there we go. Let's hit it up again. How was your guys' weekend? Everybody all right? I'm glad to be here with you. Thank you for being here with us. I'll tell you right now. I got back last night. If you think I wanted to come in this morning and do legs, you're out of your mind. But I knew you guys were going to be here. I knew Lewis was going to be here. I knew Ashanti was going to be here. So I'm here. Let's keep it moving. All right, let's stop. Let's do a little front and back. When I left here, guys, I was 192 pounds. I used some miles. Wife and I went to Cancun. When I weighed myself this morning, let's see, I was 192 when I, le when I left. 198 and a half. Not bad. But remember, holding a lot of water. And that was like eating two meals a day only. For those of you that wondered what I did in Cancun, I got one word for you. Nothing. No children. No one have to worry about what they're going to eat, entertaining them, clothing them. It was wonderful. Could have stayed there another four days, but we didn't have that option. And I couldn't leave you guys for another four days. All right, walking lunges. We got to warm up those legs, warm up those knees. Remember, when we come down from a lunge, we go straight down. The knee is tracking over the toe, not in front of it. So it's forward and down, forward and down. We got to warm up those legs because we're going to hit it hard. Now, you guys remember, this was supposed to be the last workout of this cycle of three weeks. And we were supposed to start new. Tomorrow was supposed to be a day off. And then we were supposed to start anew on Wednesday. But Ashanti and I talked about it. We're getting such great results with what we're doing right now. We're going to extend it another week. So we're going to go through the end of this week with what we've been doing. And then starting Monday, that's when we start the new workouts. And I'll post those up today. Today is December 21st. The saying for today, motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. And that's so true. You've got the motivation to do something. You go and you do it one day, maybe two days, and then maybe you lose interest. But when you do it every day as a part of your routine, as a habit, then you will continue doing that for the rest of your life. And that really makes sense with what we're doing here on Chiseled. All right, let's go into some stretching. I want you guys to stretch your, stretch your quadriceps, four muscles in the front, lean on something, grab your foot, pull it back. I always get scared for these leg workouts specifically for squats, switch legs. I don't know if you guys could hear that because the microphone, I was saying that Ashanti was going mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. in the background. <laughs> Coming to the holidays. Okay, let's go into laying forward. Legs are straight, maybe just a slight bend. Let gravity pull you down. Remember, not too much pain. Pain is not a good sign in your body, it's a bad one. 
just stretching it out a little bit. Today we're going to mix it up. Today we're going to start with laying hamstring curl. Then we're going to go to alternating reverse lunges. Then we're going to go to squats. And then calves. I think I can hear me in the other room. Yeah, please. You know me, I, can, I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. I only do one thing at a time. Holidays are coming up. A lot of people are going to overeat. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're starting up again after the first of the year. Stick with us if you can during the holidays. If not, you have a great time. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, everybody, get your bands. We're going to put our door anchor to the bottom of the door. I've already got black and blue over there. Red, green, yellow. Two of these. I've got a door anchor and two of these. No, I already have two of those. All right. Over here to the door. I'm going to start laying hamstring curl with a blue. We need your ankle straps. Just pull everything through. Get ready. It's coming. And am I prepared for this workout? Oh, no. We just got back at about 10 o'clock last night. Woke up this morning, saw the munchkins, and said, I got to get to work so that we can blast everybody's legs. I don't know about you guys, but my legs are growing. They're absolutely growing. They're growing, getting stronger, getting bigger. A lot of you that are trying to lose weight, one thing to keep in mind, you're not going to lose as much weight as we're doing this because you're going to be gaining muscle. Muscle weighs heavier than fat, weighs more than fat. So many times, when people are trying to shape their bodies, they get discouraged. Get discouraged because they're not losing as much weight as they want to. Like I said, one of the reasons is because you're putting on muscle, and muscle weighs a lot. This is our exercise here. We're going to be working the back of our legs, our hamstrings, responsible for bending your legs. We're doing that, but against resistance. This is our exercise right here. Remember, keep your feet relaxed, which takes your calves out of the movement. I don't want you tensing your calves. This is for hamstring, not calves. If you have a tough time relaxing your feet during the exercise, point your toes. That'll take your calves out of the movement. So we're just bringing our heels to our butts right there. Stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, five, four, three, two. I'm still already cramping. Four, three. Two, one, I'm gonna go into static. Get a shot of that, Lewis. There's one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Like I said, we were supposed to change the workout starting on Wednesday, but I think, I really think a month is better than three weeks. We're just hitting our stride with this workout right now. Let's go to the end, which is till the end of this week, and then we start anew next week. Sounds good. <sighs> good to be back, and, and some, somehow, in some ways, not good to be back. My wife had to drag me on the plane. Ah, oh, that was nice. All right. Get ready for set number two. We're starting. Stand by in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm already tiring out. Nine, ten. I'm going to go to static. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. I'm not getting enough reps, so what am I going to do? I'm going to jump down to red. A clip. What's the matter, Shanti? I'm getting plenty of reps. <laughs> it's hurting. 
What are you using? A red? Okay, Shanti's yeah. using a red too. All right. Even though I'm not getting as many reps as I'd like, I'm still feeling it. You guys should start to feel, those of you who've been doing chisel now for over three weeks, you should start to feel it getting really tight on the back of your legs, building that hamstring muscle, which becomes like a bump on the back of your leg. All right, last set of these. I like to blast through legs, short and sweet, and go on with our day. Stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Getting half reps. I'm gonna go static. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Ten. For those of you who forgot why we do static, I go to static holding the contraction then going one you know, muscle, one leg, one arm at a time because it's easier when you do two legs or two arms at the same time for whatever reason with your brain, yes it's the same amount of resistance but it's more difficult. When we go to one at a time we can keep tension on the muscle for that much longer and that's how we create hypertrophy and cause hypertrophy muscle growth. So that's what we're doing there. Now I want you to put your door anchor to about chest height or right below your chest. We're going to go to reverse lunges. I'm going to put a black in there as well. I, always, I like to use enough resistance so that I don't fall backwards. You want to have enough resistance so that your bands almost become like a rope holding you up when you're doing your exercise. Take off my ankle straps. We're doing reverse lunges. Reverse lunges similar to squats. Works your entire leg. Now you know what I thought about? An email we got from someone saying that we weren't hitting the adductors, the abductors. Um, feel free. We're doing exercises that really hit the entire leg. But if you want to concentrate on a specific muscle group, feel free to add something to the workout afterwards. We don't just want to hit one specific muscle and not the entire group. You guys won't get the results you want. So if when we're done, you guys want to hit some adductor, abductor, feel free to go in there and do some of those exercises. This is what we're doing. Make sure your door is locked. We're going into reverse lunges. It's right here. I'm going back. That's one. That's two. What are we working? We're working the quadriceps. We're working your buttocks, your hamstrings, maybe a little bit of your calves. You're holding yourself steady with your inner and outer thigh, your abductors and adductors. We're working the entire leg. Like I've said before, you look at the best bodies in the world, they're doing lunges. They're doing squats. I don't think that we'll ever get rid of those in our routines because they're so important. This is what the guys are doing at Gold's Gym in Venice day in and day out. All right, so stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. We're going for 18. There's one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. A little cardio happening here. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine, ten, ten. Make them strong. Eight, eight, seven, seven. Come on. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. I know you guys have told us that you're seeing some ads on the Ustream stream. We're taking care of that. Those aren't supposed to be there. Taking care of that should be gone. Keep walking around. For those of you first starting out, you may not want to do the three sets with us per exercise. Feel free to do maybe the middle one to start out. So walk in place, maybe jump side to side while we're doing set number one. Then come in with us with set number two. 
And set number three, go back to your side to side, jogging in place. Because if you're just joining us for the first time, if you go through this workout, all three sets, for every exercise, you're really not going to be happy with me in a couple of days. For those of you with incredible muscle soreness, like I said, ask your doctor, which you can always use, you know, an Advil type of product, Tylenol. That's actually what they recommend if you have a lot of muscle soreness. All right, stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. I feel this on the inside of my thigh. Ah, stabilizing. What's that, seven, eight, eight. You keeping count, Ashanti? Nine, 10, 10, come on. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Where'd you go? We're going to go for set number three with 18-2. Walk it off, walk it off. Now don't get me wrong, I may be out of town, but I still did my cardio in the morning on the treadmill and I hit it hard. We're on the quest to be chiseled. Yeah, I weighed in pretty high this morning, but I'm not letting it all go to waste. Don't forget guys, I have to get all the rules and regulations down. But starting in January, I'll announce what day. The best before and afters from January to the end of April, maybe mid-May, we'll decide. It's $5,000 for the best before and afters. And the caveat is Ashanti and I can win that too. Impartial third party will decide. Maybe Lewis will join that. Yeah, a little comic relief right there. All right. I know Lewis wants the money. All right. Stand by, guys. We're going for set number three, starting in three, two, one. I'm really warm. There's one. One, two, two, three, three, four. Come straight down. Four, five. I don't want anyone coming forward. Five. You go straight down. Six, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eight more. Eight, eight, seven. Oh, squats are going to kill us. Six, six. Use that front leg. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. One, while we're here, we're about to head into squats. I'm not happy about it, we're about to do it. But for those of you, Ashanti showed an option the last time with your door anchor at the bottom of the door. Another way you can do your squats, if you're just starting out, put a chair behind you, set it up so when you come down, you sit in the chair. But this is your exercise right here. Come down, hit the chair, bang, you're back up. Bang, and that's how, that's a real beginner squat. Ashanti, why don't you do the first set with a modified squat for people that aren't ready for the other squat. Say it again. No, no, the way we did last time. I'll tell you, it's, it's a great feeling. You know, being on vacation, looking at my body, I'm seeing an absolute change. What a, what a great feeling. Ashanti's girlfriend, check him, check Vanessa. My boss. <laughs> you hear that, Lauren? <laughs> I don't know where all this comes from, this makeup girlfriend you say yeah, you have. Right. Never seen a picture, still haven't seen a picture. <laughs> sure. Okay. 
Right now we're doing squats, one of the best leg builders or the best leg builder that there is for your quadriceps, for your buttocks, for inner and outer thigh. You are using all the muscles in your legs. Like I said, doing a set of squats, you're taking in as much oxygen as doing a 100 yard dash because what a strain on the largest muscle group of your body, your legs. This is your movement right here. You get set, come down, get set, put your arms up by your shoulders like you have a bar, and stand up. Your exercise is right here. First movement is butt out and then down. I don't want people coming forward with their knees. Butt out and down. That's your exercise. And I'm not happy about the fact that I just wasted three reps. All right, get ready, guys. Going for 20 reps. Let's see what you're made of. You want to build your legs? It's right here, right now. Stand by. We're starting. In three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Two things with squats. First is keep breathing. Either breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Never want to hold your breath. Second thing is, while you're doing your squats, make sure your legs stay steady. A lot of people, when they do heavy squats, they use too much. The knees go in or they bow out. We don't want that. If you find that you're doing that, you feel it, whoo, jump down in resistance. This is not, we're not here trying to show everybody how strong we are. We're here to build the muscle, do the sets and the exercises right so that when you hit 90, 100 years old, you're still walking around. Here comes the sweat. All right, take a breather, take a breather. A couple seconds, we're gonna hit it again. All right. Am I really ready? Am I really ready? All right, guys. Holy cow. Ah, another 100 yard dash. Let's get set. Stand by. Three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I said it before, I'll say it again. You want to be powerful in your sports football, basketball, martial arts, squats. So when we were on vacay, you know, we had to go get the kids something. Can't ever go on vacation and come back empty handed. So we went to the Mexican markets, you know, local markets. And it's funny, you know, everyone comes up to you. Hey, my friend, coming to buy this and that. And I found that by the time I was done walking through, we got our stuff. My posture from this was like this. Almost like I blew myself up because I wanted people to leave me alone. But you're looking at me right now. I'm a product of that, of being big because I was scared, insecurities. Just letting you in, letting you know who I am. That's why I first started lifting, was because I liked the way the bodybuilders looked and because it gave me a sense of security. But I just think that's funny. Walking through, I can feel myself. Yeah, leave me alone. I don't want those crappy wooden things you have to sell. No, I don't want a, a bench-shaped Corona bottle. Leave me alone. But as I got older, I grew out of that. You grow out of that. I don't have to be big anymore to be secure. It's just about being happy. All right. You ready? Holy cow. Let's get this out of the way, guys. Last set of squats. After this, as you know, it all goes downhill from here so far as 
difficulty. Let's do our last 100 yard dash right here. Build those legs. It makes you strong all over. Let's get set. Starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, during squats, keep your chest up. Don't bring your shoulders forward and chest down. Keep your chest up. Uh, we're going to go to our door anchor. It's already at the bottom of the door. Get a drink if you need one. And I need one. Uh, for those of you who there are naysayers out there that you can't build with elastics, have them do a set of squats. I'm trying to think what day we did. We did legs on Wednesday. No. Yeah. Was it legs on Wednesday or Thursday? I think Wednesday. I could hardly walk. I was so sore. My buttocks were so sore on, uh, on Thursday and Friday. Okay. We are going to, I think I'll go in orange. No, I'll go in orange and a green for my calves. Your door anchor goes to the bottom of the door. Handles on your bands. I'm going to go in orange and a green. We're going to work our calves. Shanti forgot what we were going to be doing. Yeah, after that set of squats, I don't blame him. Right, yeah. Keep breathing. And remember, Two schools of thought for your breathing when you exercise. Some people say that you should be inhaling on your eccentric part of the movement, or in that case would be on the way down in your squat. Take it in your breath and then phew, explosive exhale. When you're pushing up, you're concentric. Other people say breathe normally, naturally, as it feels good for you. But whatever you do, either one, keep breathing. <laughs> For a whole host of reasons. Because we want to be working out with you tomorrow. All right. This is what we do for calves. Your calves are on the back of your leg right here. Responsible for plantar flexion. Anytime you step up on your toes, push your foot down like that, you're using your calves. We're going to do that, but against tension. This is your exercise. All right, you guys ready? Stand by. Lewis is ready. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Five. Have you seen my chicken calves? Lewis, look at those. Compared to my thighs, chicken calves. Looks like I have these big thighs and someone stuck a toothpick underneath. That's what I'm walking on. Not blessed or gifted with the greatest calves. Doesn't matter. We're going to work them here on chiseled. We're going to make a difference right here. The same goes for you guys. I've got round shoulders. Small back, tiny calves. But we come here and we work out. I used to do it in the gym. We don't need the gym anymore. We come in here, we work those muscles. And like Arnold Schwarzenegger said in Pumping Iron, you know, a sculptor slaps on some clay. But here, we exercise the muscle. We make it bigger. You need bigger calves? We work them. All right. Set number two, get set. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 20, five, four, three. Go up on those toes. Two, I'm not doing a lot. Ah, as much as you can. Way to work, way to work. I don't care if this towel is dirty, I need it. Uh, I'm gonna use it. Keep walking around, guys. Catch your breath. Replenish your blood with oxygen. Bring it in. While we're working out, you guys are getting tired, you feel the burning in the muscle. That's lactic acid building up in your muscle. It's a byproduct of working your muscle. The more lactic acid in the muscle, the less oxygen. The less oxygen you have, the less ability you have to contract your muscle. So what do you do? After you set, you walk around. Lactic acid starts to flow away. Breathe in, taking that oxygen so you can hit it again. Let's hit it again. Last set. I'm going for 20. Ha! Stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four. Make it count. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, calves, one. Oh. Take a breather. Legs are over. Legs are over. We've got some quick abs. And you guys can hit the showers. By the way, let's see some before and afters. You guys have, or you want to save it till the first of the year? That's fine. You got befores now you want to send in? Send them in. We'd love to see them. All right. Uh, okay. Door anchor about waist height. Or you know what? Since the door anchor's there, let's hit it again. Keep your door anchor at the bottom of the door. I'm going to change up my resistance to a blue, connected only to the handles. And just remember, you guys who are holding a little more weight, you guys going into the holiday, you know you're going to eat more, feel free to add some cardio. I'm going to do cardio today, in addition to my legs, about 25 minutes. Probably going to keep my, my heart rate from 115 to 120 so I don't burn more muscle tissue. But I have to add that in. For my frame, I need to have a little more. Yes, we're burning a ton of calories right now. But I need to burn a little more if I want to get chiseled. All right, now we're going to be working our abs, our stomach. Your rectus abdominis, the muscles in the front, run all the way down your stomach. That's where your eight pack is, it's there. We just gotta strip off everything on top. That muscle responsible when it contracts, when it shortens, pulls your body up like this. That's what your abs do. We're gonna do that exact motion, but against tension. Almost forgot, your handles have to go under your arms. For those of you not ready for a resisted sit up, put your palms on the floor, keep your head straight, move your hands right towards your heels. That's the motion. For those of you who are ready, I want to give it a shot. Ashanti's going to be doing another version of abs over there. All right. All right, back over here, Lewis. Let's show them. For those of you using the handles, same thing. Handles are on the floor, palms facing down. Move your hands towards your heels. Stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four. Four inch of motion. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. I got five more. Five, four, three, two, five. Many times, guys, on these, I can cheat sometimes too. I find myself doing that. I want you guys to go all the way forward and then come down, lengthen that muscle till your shoulder blades, blades are almost hitting the floor, and then it's back up again. Oh boy. You know what's amazing? Little vacations like that are over like that. We got to Mexico on Thursday afternoon, spoke to some couple, they were really bummed out, they were going home. 
a couple of kids about my age, about 40. I was like, boy, that really stinks for them. Got to go home. I blinked my eye, and we were on the way home. And for those of you parents out there with one child, many children, doesn't matter how many you have, I feel your pain. We all live very busy lives, and you're doing a good thing for yourself right now. All right, stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah. Uh, who I feel out my abs. Does your abs start to cramp, which they certainly could? Arms over the head, stretch them out. And I can guarantee you, after set number three and I stand up, my abs are going to cramp. You almost ready to blast out this last set? All right. All right, guys, let's get this over with. Head our standing ab twist. By the way, for those of you that have to go, go. You got to go shower? Shower now. That's fine. You've done the majority of the workout. For those of you who have a couple seconds left, a couple extra minutes, stick with us. All right, we're starting in three, two, one. Let's go for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah. Excellent. I got to be careful getting up. I'm going to cramp. Uh, oh, there it goes. Uh, put your arms up in the air. Move your door anchor to about waist height. Whoo, think I'm sweating? Look at that. Insane. It's the last time I did this with a blue. Okay, door anchor is going to go in. We're attaching one band, both ends to one handle. Standing ab twist, gonna work a little bit of the obliques, but a lot of the transverse abdominis, which are the muscles on the side responsible for twisting your body. For whatever reason, these always make my back feel better. For many of you, you wanna, you wanna work on your back, your lower back, you have back problems. How do you get rid of some of those problems? You have to strengthen your abs, because your abs your core keeps you tight. If your abs are weak, your back's going to work that much harder, and that's how it gets injured. We have to balance it out. Strong abs, strong lower back. This is our exercise. Two hands on one handle. Arms are in the front, right in front of your chest. We twist against the resistance. Turn your body so that you're not really hitting your arm when you twist. It should be like that. That's our exercise. Stand by. We're starting in three, two, one. There's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Lower body stays stationary. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. I did 25 reps. Let's hit it again. Other side. And three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah. One thing that's great about having a live show, Shanti and I being in here with you every day, is that we can make a judgment call about the workout like we're doing this week. Let's continue on till the end of the week with the workout we've been doing because we're getting great results. We're hearing that from you guys. If we had done a pre-recorded, we probably would have stopped on week three. But we're going through what you're going through. And right now, we're going to finish it out to the end of the week with the stuff we've been doing. Come Monday, we switch it around and keep it fresh so you guys don't get bored. But get ready. What's coming is, is going to be pretty amazing. Just give you a little preview. We're going to be working next week. Chest is paired with arms. Shoulders is paired with, paired with back. 
And legs is once again paired with abs. I like that combo and very difficult after we do uh, legs to really do anything else. Stand by. Starting in three, two, one. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This exercise is so amazing. Builds important muscles for so many sports, tennis, golf. You work out with us, you're doing these exercises, I guarantee you're going to drive the ball farther. You're going to hit it harder in tennis. Stand by in 3, 2, 1. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah. Ah. For those of you who are just starting out with us today, don't forget the saying of the day, motivation is what gets you started, habit is what keeps you going, by uh, Jim Ryan. Once again, I don't know who Jim Ryan is. But if we get into the habit of doing this every morning, and it's just a part of your routine every day, that's when you're really going to make the gains. It's when you start working out, you don't do things right, you miss, you get injured. That's where all your hard work starts to go in the wrong direction. So here every morning with us, you guys are going to see amazing results, and we're glad to have you. Thank you for being here with us. All right, last set, guys. Let's blast it out. I think I'm just going for 20 reps. Stand by in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, I can keep going. Four, three, two, one. Keep that lower body stationary. Twist at your waist. Three, two, one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah! That's what I'm talking about. Way to work. Let's go into a light jog. Let's bring it down. Don't just stop. No, that was not easy. Get ready to be sore tomorrow, Wednesday. We're going to have shows for you. Those of you who are going to be around, I'll make sure that there are shows for you on Thursday and Friday. We might have to pre-record for you guys, since uh, Louis and Ashanti have already threatened to kill me. I have them come in on Thursday and Friday. But I'll be in here making sure we may post them earlier so you guys have your workouts for Thursday, Friday, especially with what you're going to be eating. You're going to want to get up in the morning and hit it again. Let's go into a light walk. Whew. Great work today, guys. Great work. Way to continue on. Those of you who are stuck with us, we keep building every week, every day, every workout. It's amazing. For those of you just starting with us, stick with us here. You're going to see the same results as everybody else. For those of you who have worked this week, have a great week of work. Go and have a great day today or a short week. This is Blake Castle with Body Elastics Chiseled, liveexercise.com. Thank you for being here with us. Leg day tomorrow is a day off. Or those of you who want to do some cardio, you can. But you did a great job today. You rock. Thanks for being here with us. Have a great day.